macro photography is often thought to require specific equipment, most noticeably a macro lens, and this is why many amateur photographers would only consider getting close up after they have a solid lens collection. However, the Nikon 40mm f2.8G AFS DX Micro Nikkor lens shows that anyone can become a macro photographer, or as I like to say, a macrographer. First of all, this is actually a macro lens. You're probably like, well, duh, of course it's a macro lens. It says macro in the box. Well, what a lot of manufacturers actually do is they call a lens macro just because it is able to focus at really close distances. But macro doesn't just mean you can focus at close distance, it also means you get a one to one scale and this is what this lens offers. So the first thing I like about this lens is that it's a macro lens, well yeah it's a bit weird but I like that it has that one to one scale, this is a true macro, this isn't a fake macro, even though it has the capability to be more than a macro, it's macro features and its capability are really powerful. But if you're into shooting moving macro or shooting insects or stuff that's moving at a very close range, it will be quite difficult with this lens because it's 40 millimeters. You will have to get too close to the subject for it to work. If you're trying to take a picture of an insect, it's going to fly away before you can get that shot. If you're into taking moving macros, then perhaps the limited focal length of this lens isn't going to be so good for you. That 40mm focal length is midway between 35 and 50mm, more so towards the 35. And I think this is a nice sweet spot. You get some of the benefits or 50 millimeters which is perhaps a more creative limited style but you get some of those benefits of 35 the more versatility the greater wide angle and so the 40 millimeter focal length is a bit odd but i think it's a really nice middle ground between 35 and 40. however this does also have its own problems at times it does feel a bit like a compromise. You never have a 35, you never have a 50, you're always in that middle. So sometimes it does feel too zoomed in and sometimes it feels too wide. Now I personally can live with that because I like the 40 millimeter focal length, but you will notice at times when it just feels a bit odd. This lens is at a phenomenal price point. I'm not going to mention pricing because yeah, you know, it changes all the time. This is such a good bang for buck lens and this is a really good lens for amateur photographers and this is another reason why. Not only is it a macro and a, you know, normal prime lens, it is also a really entry level lens. But with all great things, there are a few issues and the real issue I see with this lens is that it has a cheap build. It's, it's kind of expected. You get a really good piece of glass for less than, you know, 300 pounds. It's not gonna be built out of metal, but it does feel quite cheap. I wouldn't mind paying a bit more if it did feel a bit more premium, but certainly I think the extra photographic benefits really do outweigh the cheap feel of this lens. And finally, this lens also has a really good aperture range. It goes all the way from f22, which is a really small aperture, to f2.8, which allows you to get loads of light and get bokeh. And again, this emphasizes the versatility of this lens. You can use it for portraits, and at f2.8, you're gonna get really nice blurred background, and then you can go macro and you can shoot at a lower f-stop because when you're really close to the subject the slight changes in focus are much larger you have a lot less in focus basically in summary 
this lens offers a really good one-to-one -one macro scale. Its 40mm focal length is versatile as it's midway between 35 and 50. It's at a great price and it has a good f-stop range from f2.8 to f22. However, it's not suitable for you moving macro photographers as the wide focal length requires you to get quite close to your subject. The focal length can feel like a compromise at times and the build is rather cheap. But overall, I think this is a really good lens for someone looking into macro for the first time. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed please do press the like button, if you did not please press the dislike button, subscribe to see more and I hope to see you again very soon.